Hi, this is Carlos again from uh, rcadvisor.com and uh, I wanted to show you my Elevon linkage setup and what I'm trying to show in this in this image here is that this is the this is one of the Elevons this is the control horn and that's the servo and it's, it's a little bit hard to tell but the hole in the control horn it's just a little bit forward of the hinge line on the Elevon. And the uh, servo arm on the servo is a little bit back from being straight up. And what this, what this does is that this gives me aileron differential because uh, it, I'm trying to avoid what's called adverse jaw. And, and I, I'm, I'm doing that by having the control surface when I'm again when I'm using as ailerons when it goes up go up more than when it goes down and of course I have a fancy transmitter it can handle all of that <clears throat> but this is an easy way to do this and it's also fairly foolproof uh, because you're not gonna forget about the for the programming or get the programming wrong and to show you how it works I'm gonna I'm going to pull back so that's full up um, it's actually full up elevator because it's an elevon but then I'm going to push down so that's that's full down this is full up and it, I me I just measured the angles I have a, a fancy uh, craftsman angle uh, digital angle measuring gauge um, I got this, they had a, a big sale going on, so uh, I forget how much I paid, like 25 bucks maybe for it. Normally it's quite a, it's a bit more expensive than that. But I measured the angle and the up angle is about 25 degrees and the down angle is more like 12 degrees. So I'm getting, you know, maybe twice as much up deflection as down deflection. And again, this is with absolutely no transmitter programming I mean I could have done that with the transmitter this is so this is mechanical differential and it's something that uh, is going to uh, avoid adverse jaw which means that when you're trying to turn to the to the right the nose of the airplane this act, uh, turns to the left so there's like a, a jaw you know there's a directional movement to the left when you're trying to move to the right when you're trying to turn to the right or bank to the right and anyway, this is something that uh, most airplanes can use. And of course, you can argue, okay, um, you know, in a normal configuration, not in a flying wheel like this, but in a normal configuration, you fix that by using rudder. You know, this this airplane doesn't have rudder; it's got vertical stabilizers, but there's no rudder. So, yeah, you know, you're supposed to use rudder. Um, you know, model airplanes, you know, we we hardly ever use rudder unless we really have to. So. This is a way of getting that differential without having to, um, you know, do some fancy programming on the transmitter. And, you know, just remember to, to do it. The, the servo, the uh, servo arm actually on, on this one doesn't quite center on its own. So it's, it would have been either a little bit that way or a little bit this way. So I just made it a little bit this way, but that's as close to center as I can get it anyway. And, and the servo, uh, you know the control surface horn. I it is it's not it's not very much uh, offset that way, uh, just just a little bit. So you don't really need a lot. Uh, you know I'm not talking about you know quarter inch or anything like that. It's if I had to guess, I'd say it might be a most like an maybe it's an eighth of an inch that is offset. Anyway, I uh, hope you found that tip useful, and until uh, next time.